after the Aiden trade, and obviously you had an integral part in it. Just curious on on your on the role that you played in that, and, and how you're feeling about it now that the deal's been done. Yeah, I, I think it's a partnership. I think Matt hit on it. Uh, myself, James, Frank, and Matt were constantly canvassing the league and looking at how to improve our team. Uh, and we thought, as Matt said, Nurkic is a great fit for this team. His passing ability, how skilled he is offensively, what Coach Volga is going to do with him defensively. And then Grayson Allen, someone we targeted, uh, his shooting, necessarily little of his defensive versatility. So we all play a part in it. And so much of this business is relationships and who you know. Uh, and our job is to kind of keep making this team better and better. And we can sit here today saying that we're deeper, more talented, and can't wait for the ball to drop. In this role, I'm, I'm just curious how you, maybe when you first got the job to now, how you have embraced it and how you're um, trying to maybe learn on the fly, but yet working with James and then working with Matt. So how are you navigating all that yet still having to be part of huge decisions? Yeah, I'm having the time of my life. It's been, it's been awesome. It's been six months, not that anyone's counting. Um, but both the business and basketball side. And that's the unique thing for me, having been in Detroit and done both business and basketball, and then take that here to Phoenix. Um, but James and I have formed an unbelievable bond and partnership. Uh, we talk every single day, uh, different ideas, and it goes on both sides. I, I talk to James about basketball stuff. James helps me a ton with business stuff and trying to close deals and talk about fan experience. So it's been everything I could possibly imagine. I love living here. Um, it's not nearly as nice in Detroit as it is out here right now. Uh, and we just keep moving forward. Hey, Josh Sherald, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm curious with being able to work with James and with Matt and, you know, looking at the, some of the second tax apron stuff that you guys have to work around now, how nice is it to be able to have sort of carte blanche to make some of these aggressive trades and, and go after guys that might be able to, you know, try and sign for more elsewhere um, and pitch them just right off the bat like that? Yeah, no, we're lucky. I mean, I think it's Matt's vision, right? When the new CBA came out and we spent a ton of time evaluating the second apron, you know, Matthew was like, let's just blow right through it. Like, let's go get a star player in Bradley Beal. Let's go add the most depth. Let's uh, look at ways that we can add money in trades and bring back real rotation players. Um, having been in the NBA now, this is my ninth season, that's not common. So to have an owner who's truly dedicated to winning, I think it's one of his pillars. But you can talk about it, but then when you back that up with the moves you've made, um, it's, you know, there's not many who can say that. So it gives us a huge opportunity, and, and that's why Matt's involved in this. We run all these scenarios, and we – don't, I'll put all these things on a the teeter-totter, what's going to help us win the most. And he's always supportive and always in the weeds helping us define what success is. Hey, Josh. Eli Avgabai back here. Uh, Eli Avgabai, Sports 360 AZ, all the way in the back. Yeah, the all the way in the back. There you <laughs> go. All the way in the yes, back. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so you've mentioned, obviously, the, the, the finger you have on the pulse of the community and, and the commitment to winning. Have you felt that energy as you're even walking around in the city when – they appreciate the moves y'all are making and, and just the effort in trying to bring a title here. A thousand percent. When people ask what's been the biggest surprise, it's the emotion that's listed, that people feel for the Suns and Mercury. Uh, people love the Suns. They love the Mercury. They want to talk about our trades. They want to talk about the games. That is a special place in people's heart. I always tell our team on the business side, that's the opportunity we have when these doors open and 17,000 screaming fans come in here we have a chance to make a, a memory and experience. And they may cry of happiness. They also may cry because they're not real happy with us. But we have a response to make a memory. Uh, and when people are that invested in the Sons of Mercury, um, we're stewards. We're stewards to move this organization forward because of how impactful the Sons of Mercury are to everyone who lives in the Valley. Hey, Josh. This is Dave King with uh, SB Nation, Bright Side of the Sun. Um, so you joined the organization six months ago, and you joined a team that had won a ton of playoff games, a ton of regular season games, and you've made a, a, t a lot of changes since the end of the season. I know you've been a big part of that. Talk about uh, a little bit the uh, relationship you built with James Jones because he's the one who built this last team, yeah. and then you guys have made so many changes this summer. Yeah, it's special. It's incredibly unique. Uh, it's a testament to James, the person he is. I didn't know James uh, when I took this job. I remember the first call I made with him and he reached out to me and just said how excited he was to have a partner on the business side. Um, and we formed an, an incredible bond. I think so many times in sports, business, basketball, uh, football, there's insecurity right around any single move. Uh, we're just totally aligned. Like we do things together. We make calls together. We share ideas together. And it's not just us, it's James's entire team. So uh, what's made my time so enjoyable is, is building bonds with people like James because he's had incredible success. He does things the right way. And for him to open his arms and embrace me the way he did, um, I think the success that we've had in the offseason, we got to win games this year, is, is Matt's vision and James kind of being a steward here who's led this thing for a long time and had immense success as a player, 
and now as an executive. Josh, uh, Trevor Booth with Clutch Points. Devin Booker is obviously your franchise player. What's the relationship been like with him in the front office, and how much was he in the loop with the, the moves you guys made this offseason? Yeah, Devin's awesome. I mean, he gets it. He gets the basketball. He gets the business of basketball. Uh, just to see his growth, you know, of how good, good of a player he's become. Um, and he just keeps going, right? I mean, his, his linear success is unprecedented. But I think our job as leaders is to always keep your star players engaged because they have a, a depth and knowledge of basketball that you know, very few do. So um, we're always talking. We're always sharing ideas. He knows the door is always open. He's always talking to James. Uh, and we want to build a championship and want, you know, Devin to be a son forever. Hey, Josh, Mark McLoon, Arizona's family. Uh, championship expectations, you just mentioned it right there. Why is it important to, to verbalize those publicly? Yeah, I think that's the ultimate goal, right? We're big on setting goals and then going to hit them. I think when you, when you invest in the team like we did, when you put this roster together, um, that's the goal. Now, is it going to be easy? No, it's, there's going to be losing streaks. There's going to be hard times. There's going to be injuries. But ultimately, you play this game you know, to win a championship. And we feel like we've put together a really good roster, but we're excited for the journey. I think the journey's people always want to look at the end result. We just want to embrace every single day. I mean, there's so many people who are excited just for practice to start tomorrow and see the ball bouncing, see the ball going through the net and kind of just ride this thing through 82 games and hopefully a, a long playoff run. But that's the state of goal every year. It's hard. It's a zero-sum game, but that's why you do this. Hey, Josh. Brandon Brown from the Phoenix Business Journal. Um, I heard 95% um, for season ticket uh, renewals. I wonder if you could tell me about what's the demand been like. I know uh, Matt said it's not all about money, but with that, you know, with that type of demand, I'm sure you guys can raise prices a little bit, get a little extra revenue. Yeah, coming. the demand's unbelievable. Uh, you know, it's it, everyone wants to come do a game. Uh, we certainly don't have a demand issue. So we're in a great spot with our season tickets. We're constantly trying to find ways to create new products to get more people here, right? There's a supply issue because you don't have any more seats, but how do we create new suites? How do we create more seats? We're constantly looking at, at being innovative and doing things to increase the fan experience. So it's been awesome. We have a, a, a long wait list. Uh, that's a good problem to have, but it's a problem. So we're trying to figure out how to get more people in this building so everyone can experience a Suns game. Hey, Josh, Shane Yellen with Ford Sports right here. Uh, what are your earlier impressions of Frank since, I guess, he got the job and took over? I called Frank. Frank's probably standing somewhere over here. I called him Saturday night and just said uh, how much I've enjoyed getting to know him as a person. Um, it seems like it was yesterday we were talking and interviewing, and, and James did a great job leading that process. Um, but as someone who's younger, I remember watching Coach Vogel's teams with the Pacers and kind of just admiring how they played. But as good of a coach as he is, he's an even better person. That's what everyone said throughout the process. You guys are going to see firsthand over the course of this year. He's just an unbelievable guy. He gets the bigger picture. He's a phenomenal partner. Um, and we're, we're very, very lucky to have him here. Jody Ayler, Fox Sports 910. Uh, Josh, I'm just curious, you've described a pretty collaborative approach to basketball decision making, which is fairly unique across the league. When it comes to making a final decision, how is the final decision made and who makes it? Yeah, ultimately it's Matt's. Uh, we have an owner who's in the weeds with it. So our, James's job, my job, Frank's job, is we present our joke, a menu of options of kind of here's the different things to look at. But we have an owner who understands basketball. He played it. He's been around it his whole life. So ultimately it's Matt's decision. And our job is, is to cast a wide net, try to find as much value as we can uh, and present what we want to do. And of course we give recommendations, what we think, but ultimately it's Matt's call. Thanks, everyone. Look forward to seeing you all year.